and welcome back to another Gaming with Koha session here. We're going to jump into, yet again, another traditional sealed here for Strixhaven. Really enjoying this sealed format. I'm trying to build my collection of Strixhaven cards, even though right now they seem to be useless in Standard. Um, still very much worth it, as well as the added benefit of getting those historic cards in the Mystic Archives. So, I love it. Best bang for your buck, in my opinion. Really jumping in and enjoying it. Ooh, all right, so we have 10 rares total here. Got a couple of Baleful Mysteries, so two of those. Um, really good black removal spell. Just exile whatever you want, that's nice. Approach to the Second Sun. I like that art quite a bit. <clears throat> I do indeed. Um, good win condition. Of course. Um, sorry, taking a note here. Yeah, good win condition. Um, seven mana is a little pricey, but it's nice that it, it actually does say you in the game. So um, that's nice. A snarl again, terrible dual land, but dual nonetheless. I thought this was interesting. We played it against it in our last um, sealed game. It, it's a massive lord: pest, bats, insects, snakes, and spiders. You control your one one, and then when it dies, you gain life. So this seems like it fits really well in it that pest gain life drain line strategy um it seems incredible there what's this other side search for blacks look at the top five cards of your library put any number of them into your hand and the rest of your graveyard you lose three life for each card put into your hand this way four mana and up to 15 life for four for five cards it seems weighty um it doesn't even let you get all the way through it and you're losing three life. It's not my favorite of drawing card spells. Compulsive research seems great. Draw three cards, choose what you like, discard a couple, unless you discard a land. So you're most likely going to discard a land when you do this. All right, let's continue on. Let's see what our other rares are, shall we? All right, let's filter by rarity. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I had the last deck list up. All right. Sorry about that. That's cleaned up now, so we should be good to go. Tetris Gambit, three mana, draw two cards. Potentially, you could potentially pro proliferate. It's not a, the set's not built around it, but it's okay. Academic Probation, it's really a, a constructed card. You don't really want to play this, otherwise, really. Silver Quill Silencer, it's cool art. Two mana, three, two, ETBs, choose a non-land card name. When the opponent casts a spell with a chosen name, they lose three life if you draw a card. Okay, again, constructed. I'm not sure that really fits with what I want to do here, or if it could work. Um, it feels hard. The Venerable War Singer, 3 mana, 3 3, Vigilance, and Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card with mana value X or less, where X is the amount of damage it dealt to that player. Okay, it's fine. Huh. Huh. I mean, my two. My. What? Silencer and Probation both feel pretty weak in my opinion not excited about playing those approach interests me if i'm just looking at rares approach interests me alongside available masteries i can throw tessers gambit whatever i want maybe even go esper if i wanted to compulsive research um i'm open to that well let's take a look here let's take a look at what else we have eliminate man our our black removal is really good go blank my route effect Sack Outlet, we got two of those. That seems really good. The Aerialist, we like that. Serpentine Curve, we liked. Pop Quiz is, you know, it fits the decks that it's that it's run in. Um, spell or Permanent? Interesting. Okay. Three mana, and you get to learn off of it. I'm not sure I want to play that here, but it's it's an interesting effect for sure. Test of Talents, two mana instant counter instant sorcery spell. Search is controller's graveyard hand. Oh yes. That seems really good. You you counter that on the right thing. Seems very good. Symmetry Sage, one mana zero two. 
uh, target con creature you control has base power two until the turn. Okay. Meh. Pillar drop rescuer, two two flyer, ETBs return creature, CMC three or less from graveyard to hand. If it's battlefield, it'd be a lot better, and it feels it feels more right if it went to battlefield for five mana. I'm not sure how I like that otherwise. Four mana two two ETBs put a one one counter on target creature, pay five mana tap it, put a one one counter on each creature you control with a one one counter on it. Well, oh, there's a proliferate target. Um. Two to hexproof, okay. One one counter learn. Um two two to another turn. Okay. None of my colors that are just the colors look super perfect. I really want to play black at this point. I've got I've got three solid removal spells, a couple of discard effects that could be really big. Let's see what red gives us. Infuriate and shock. Shock's very good. Of course, um, unless you're Saurian Spy, he'd debate a like at two of those. Twin Scroll Shaman is really good with things like Infuriate. Fuming Effigy is fine with Tome. What was it, Tome Shredder? Ardent Dust Speaker, I haven't seen this one. Five mana, three, four Minotaur Shaman. When it attacks, you may put an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. If you do, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. Interesting. Wow, that goes off really well with um, some of the other lore hole cards that care about moving things out of the graveyard. That's fun. Um, that's really fun. I like that. Five minute payment storm. It's always a good one. Charge through. Okay. Over an arch is very good, especially in the black green sacrifice decks. It's a solid card. Got one of those. Reckless Amplomancer is surprisingly really effective. When you can double its power, it's really frustrating. Tangle Trap, okay, Blex, Mage Duel, wow, I got three of those? Holy crap. So this is a really good removal spell. Um, target creature you control gets one, two until in a turn, then it fights target creature you don't control. It's, it's really, really a good fight spell. Leyline Invocation, fine. Um, we got the Black White Campus, the Silencer, of course. Um, Summoning is always good. Pledge Mage is fine. Um, exhilarating Elocution. Put two 1-1 counters to target creature. You control other creatures you control. Get 1-1 until end of turn. Okay, so you care about counters. Spiteful Squad, 4 mana, 0, zero Death Touch. Enters with two 1-1 counters on it when it dies. Put counters on target creature you control. This is the card that killed me that, that other game, because um, I killed it in the wrong, wrong order. We get two of those. Rise of Exodus is a fine card. Two Prismari campuses, Iteration, Apprentice, Teach by Example, Rutha. Uh, three mana, one four, pay two, return it to its owner's hand, copy it, instant spell, instant sorcery you, you control, choose and target for the copy. Okay. That's fine, just a two mana tax, like, it's, it's always a Teach by Example, just on a creature, that's fine. Spectacle Mage, good for big things. Elemental Summoning, of course, is fine. We have the Green Black Campus, Infused Vitality. It's really good. Um, get some good stuff out of it. Tin of Pest is also very good. Blood Researcher is amazing. Moldering Karak. 4 mana 3 3 Trample Life Link is frustrating, honestly. I call this Karak. I wonder if it's supposed to be Karak. Like, a weird way of saying crocodile. A Karakodile. I don't know. Throwing Discovery. Um, good draw, draw spells. Spirit Summoning is a lesson. Stonebound Mentor. Whenever you have one or more cards, leave your graveyard. Let's try one. Again, really great. Venerable War Singer. The Sloth. Everyone likes a good Sloth. Um, the Past Caller. Green Blue. Snarl, of course. The Denial is always a great card. Drake, whatever. The Princess is very good. Biomathetician is fine. Aether Helix, I think, is pretty darn good. Um, Commons Guide is good for multicolored decks, environmental sciences as well. Introduction to Prophecy. It's okay. It, it, you. The reason I like this card is because I don't have to put it in my main deck. Like, it's 100% not worth main decking. 
if I get a free card out of something and then I have this card that will allow me to have a free card, okay, it's fine, but it's not my favorite. I'm not usually excited to get it as a lesson, but it just keeps cards in the hand. Um, Reflective Golem is really good, especially if you're in a, a red base deck. I think I, I there could be other decks that go really well with it too, but I really do like it. Um, Cogwork Assistant. Six mana, four, five with reach. Pay to and tap. Put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Seems really good in a red-white deck. Well then. I still feel like black is my best. Man. Am I black, white, green? Am I trying to play Abzan? I think that works. I think if, if you try to play Abzan uh, counters, you can end up really going off with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to take our, our black, green, um, and white cards out. Um, yep. Again, I'm not, I'm not sure about, about some of these cards. I'm not super excited about playing them all. Um, but some of these seem very, very powerful. Um, hmm. Probably only want to play one go blank. We will play that Tezzeris Gambit. If we're, if we're actually going with proliferate strategy. If we're running white, we're going to play approach. Um, um, if we're proliferating, we want that. One of those seems fine. That seems really key in this matchup. And sure. And we are looking at 53 cards. So <coughs> plenty to cut down. Let's take a look here. What's our count? 17 creatures, 19 non-creatures. Hmm. I do want to take a look at what creatures I have here. Okay. You're going to get back something CMC3 or less. Which is a decent chuck of the deck, it looks like. Um... Your 2 2 flyer. Flyers are always relevant. I'm not sure I want three of these. I don't really have. Well, I guess it gets trample and I'm trying to go off with um, counters. But what's going to really work with counters? Uh, Tezzeret's Gambit is going to help with counters. Guiding Voice. Um. Exhilarating Elocution, Leyline Invocation. Let's see. Your six mana, give me a zero zero creature with X one one counters on it, where X is no our land to control. We're not going to really fly up there at the moment. I'm not excited about that. It's not a good win condition. It's out. Um, gets two two times a turn. It's okay, not the best. It's like prowess, but a better prowess. Um, Overgrown arch. I think the incidental life gain might be worth it. I'm not. I'm kind of more of a long game. I need to kind of build up my counters, so overgrown arch kind of gives me that capacity. Amphimancer seems really good because I can double its power and toughness, so it, it could really dominate. The silencer, I think, is out. It's not going to give me a lot. I'm not not super excited about it. Blacks, you're going to give me life. You're not. Huh. Three mana, three, two. Gain four life. Is that worth it?
It doesn't work with any of my other creatures. It would only work with something like Tin the Pests. Um, hmm. Hunt for specimens, I suppose. That's just not a lot for it to work with. I'm not super excited about it. I, I do want to keep both these cards. Well, do I want to keep this one? It does let me learn. We'll take a look at learn in a minute, see how beneficial it is. But Blacks, I think, is out. Thanks for the Mythic, not playing it. Hmm. Silver Quill, Blood Researcher, Dueling Coach. All right, here's the, here's the question. I'll have to come back to that. Is Blacks worth playing? For the search for blacks. Is it worth digging? Hmm. I don't know. Is it worth digging for? Am I, am I gaining life? I mean, I've got these three car ops that give me lifelink. Um... I've got the Pledge Mage that I can give a lifelink. The, the pests that I will have will give me lifelink. Um, <clears throat> oh, the Novice Dissector. I'm not... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I do like them a little bit. <clears throat> if I get targeted, I can sacrifice it and end up pumping something else. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to play Blacks. Not going to do it. I just, I don't think... I don't think I've got the things needed to make it work. Um, 15 creatures, 18 non-creatures. These are all really good. Inkling summoning is a lesson, so we're not going to run a lesson with us. Um, hmm. So I have one, two, three learn cards. I only have one learn card in my deck. I don't... four learn cards. I don't know if that's good enough reason to play Hunt for Specimens. I don't think it is. We're going to throw it out. Running 17 lands, that seems right. Cutting 8 cards here. That's pretty hard. This is very difficult. Um, okay. I'm going to rearrange here. Please. So, counters, removal, removal. I'm not sure I care about go blank. Should I? Should I, should I, should I? Okay. Do I have too much removal? So, I have three cards that are helping with my 1-1 one -one counters. Two cards are kind of protection spells. One card. One card that's devoted to drawing me cards. Ugh. But it also, it also works as a counter card because it'll proliferate me. Nine removal spells. Ooh, and one I win the game. Nine removal spells. You know, I'm I'm largely thinking that maybe of of my non creature package, getting rid of Tin the Pests and Beaming Defiance are worth it. 
because I, I do like having nine removal spells. I think that's going to give me the best chances of just cruising our opponent. Um, take a look at our, look at our curve again. Um, well, our curve's all messed up now, isn't it? I thought that closing it back would help. Nope. Okay. Bummer. Well, you're going to be a three drop. You'll be four. All right. Okay. This seems okay. My four drops are still too high, I think. Stifle Squad has to be in. I think one Novice Dissector is probably worth it. Um, it's interesting though. Blood research works really well with gaining life. I'm not doing that. So, but three mana, two, two menace that I can pump and incidentally gain life on, it seems worth keeping. Maybe Arch isn't worth having. I'm going to be playing a real slow game, it looks like. Um, hmm. Clever and Lumen answer. Ugh, I'm getting pretty low on creatures here. That's okay, because approach is a win condition. I can keep the opponent off for a while. Um... Campus Guide, I think, is pretty worth playing so I can get the lands I need. Um, maybe, as I've cut the creatures back so much, I want to cut one Mage Duel. Okay. And so this, this is our deck, I suppose. So, yeah, it would be super interested to hear from you in the comments below. If, what would you have done? Would you have come up with the same deck? Would you have put in other cards or removed others that I don't have here? Um, love to hear from you. Leave your comments down below and we'll, we'll be back and forth there. Um, let me update our deck list that you saw earlier, but we'll update it and make it more true for our deck today. And we will get right into that first match. All right, and here we go. Let's jump into match one, shall we? This actually looks kind of fun. I like that even though the campuses kind of have their distinct feel and what they're wanting to do and how they want to do it, I do like that there is this capacity to go three color. I think our last Jeskai deck looked really good. This Azen deck looks really good too. I, I'm interested to see how it feels. Um, it was clear we had more playables that we had space for. Um, but yeah, super excited just to see how this works out. Also happy not to be playing uh, in, is it variety? So we don't have our white mana, but I think this is still the keeper. We're getting two colors in our mana, and we have something to do starting on turn two. So that seems worth it. Opponent plays a swamp. Ooh, and we get a, we get a campus. We'll lead on that. That feels good. Scurred Colony, sure. Um, we will make a mistake in playing the wrong land. Well, okay. Good game opponent. I wasn't paying attention, and here we are. Ugh. It's a bad sign when round, like, round two of your first match of your of the, of the whole sealed, you make a punt like that. I turn myself back one whole turn. That's terrible. Ugh, uh, uh, uh. I hope we can end up pulling back and get you back into this game. We're so far, so far behind now.
the one thing I can think of that could work is I could infuse Vitality potentially with Silver Quill Pledge Mage. Um, it's my best option. Okay, they played Groth. That's not the end of the world for me. Um, again, we're going to play Pledge Mage here. And we're going to see what we can do. Opponent plays land. We're going to take our beats here. Opponent's follow-up play is a pledge mage of their own. Um, hmm. What do I want to do now? Yeah, this seems really good. We will have it kill their pledge mage. We trade off. I still get the life. It's not the end of the world. I did kind of wish I had Blood Researcher down. Um, that way I could have grown it a little bit as well. And we lost the Infusive Vitality maneuver. Um... We'll play Amplomancer, and we'll keep Infuse of Vitality up for now. Yeah, and we're not going to use the Guiding Voice at this time. It wouldn't make any sense to do so. Okay. Using the mage jewel there was a mistake as well. I could have still got in. They wouldn't have blocked, and then I could have done it. Uh, my brain is a little bit slow here. We have OP. You can just leave it be. Just attack in. Mm-hmm. We're going to block. And we will cast Infuse the Vitality. Oh, and you're doing it too. So we're both getting him back. Okay. Well, that could be worse. Look at the top six cards of your library. Creature among them, put it in your hand. And gain three life. Alright. Yes. No creatures? Nope, you got one. Oh, the silencer. I don't know what you would cast with that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm going to play it. Put my counter on the center. Um, and... Let's see. I mean, they're going to see what I pick, so it's not worth getting something too crazy. Farmville Sciences doesn't seem... Well, actually, it kind of does. I'm going to take it. <clears throat> and we'll pass our turn here. So, after this game, I'm probably going to need to restart. It looks like my computer's having a hard time keeping up. Um, it could be. I have Zoom open. Let me go ahead and close that, see if that'll give me any more, any more bandwidth. Uh-huh. They're going fishing for lands.
So here with the dissector, I can end up blocking um, the growth of my 2-2 and sacrificing the 2-2 to give my dissenter a, a counter on it. So actually it only has a sorcery. Oh no. Well, that's not what I wanted it to be. It's a bit disappointing, but oh well. You know, it pays to read the cards all the way. It's amazing how much of the game you'll understand if you read all the cards. Opponent's still learning. They got environmental sciences as well, sure. They're going and casting it. They're thinning their deck considerably. Mm-hmm. Plays Swamp. Plays Silencer. Here, I mean, the only card they know is Primal Sciences, so that's what they'll name. I can attack for eight next turn, but I just don't think it's going to be great. Dramatic Finale. I don't even know what that card is. Here, I do think I'm going to trade. Go ahead and get that off the battlefield. Um, force the opponent to empty their hand, exile the graveyard. Nice. Get rid of the Damagoth. Um... Go ahead and get a planes. Play it. My gosh, this is this is miserable. I'm sorry for the visual pain. My computer just cannot keep up for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it. No blocks will take three. Archway Commons. It's a bit awkward. Um, we'll tap a forest for it. Um, go ahead and play out the Blood Researcher Bash in for two. Not really looking to trade off the Silencer at the moment. I have all this removal <coughs> not in my hand. I guess I don't have anything in my hand. I'm going to put a stop on mine. I don't have a ton of cards at cost of fortune. If I do get approach, however, it will be a little frustrating, but it shouldn't be too unbearable. Opponents can get in. We're not blocking. And we are going to... <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to spray one here. Hmm. I do like the idea of drawing two cards. I don't like the idea of not effectively proliferating. But it is something to do. All right, we're going to keep it. That's fairly disappointing. Both of my cards are more powerful than the opponents at the moment. So, no, it's a sorcery speed. Again, reading the cards. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Well, that's better. Let's go ahead and do this, and we're going to pay the two life. How's this work? All right, yep. I don't mind that. Um, we'll go ahead and get him for four again. We will play the Moldering Karak, and we'll end our turn. The lifelink here will be pretty key. Let's see what opponent has. They're loading up on cards, but I wonder if they're just lands they're holding on to or something else. 
or some sort of recursion spell or something. Well, that's rude. Go ahead and get rid of that. Hopefully find another Karak because that three life is going to be pretty key. Opponent passes a turn. Baleful Mastery. I like that. Um, can I do this at instant speed? I can. Four, five, and four. Okay, so I can do it once. And so I think that I will. Go ahead and activate it, get in for six here. Opponent draws, they play a Karak. Sure. Um, I'll do it on their instep in case they have something else. They don't. Okay. We are going to play the four mana one. Okay. We're going to play the land. We're going to attack. Activate the ability once. Activate the ability twice. Put you to one. Okay. The opponent needs two creatures here, or one creature and a removal spell. Wow. Well, they need three creatures, I suppose. And this will give them the third. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Um, well, this should win me the game. Gain a life, and then we attack in for two, and should win. All right, good game. All right, we got to finish this match, but put us some fun stuff on their side. Um, is there anything that I want? They do have some removal, but I'm not sure this is so necessary. Um... You know, I think I kind of just want to run it back. I'm pretty content with what with what it is. Um, yeah. Well, I clicked done. It's not really responding. There we go. We'll see what we can put together here. I, that felt like a good match. It didn't feel too outside of what our deck could do. Um, I was pretty content with the way we played that one. Uh, in the end, certainly I think there was at least twice that I misplayed. And so, um, hopefully that won't end up biting us in the butt too many times. Hopefully I can wisen up kind of shake the cobwebs off, focus back into the game a little bit. Opponent sideboarding like crazy. Um, I wonder what they're, what they're seeing or wanting to take care of. I wonder what they felt like was the turning point for the game of the game for them. It looks like they're going to take their whole time here. Well, certainly I've appreciated these last few weeks of recording content for you guys. Um, looking forward to getting getting a little bit more on schedule when we know when it will happen and really enjoy it. Hopefully start trying to stream it on YouTube. Um, I don't necessarily want to go through the hassle of streaming on Twitch or any other external source. So... Um, 
because even for me personally, I really appreciate engaging in content in the YouTube format. I feel like that's, that's really my favorite spot. We're going to keep this hand. This looks really good. We don't have any early plays, but again, our deck's looking to go a little long. Um, kind of don't need more lands right now. We'd love to see a little bit more spells here on the front end. Get the get the squirrel. Nope. Oh boy. Stop drawing lands, please. Cast Gambit next turn. Oh, opponent. Did they sideboard into Absam? Or did they have Absam last time? I can't remember. I remember they played Field Trip, so it's certainly easy for them. I wish we had Field Trip. We just have that uh the campus guide, which if I played, I would not tutor a land out. Unless I needed to shuffle. Alright. They got pest summoning. Um unfortunately, I think I want to pass here. The reason for it is because if I tether gambit, I will have to discard. At this point, I'm not really content to discard, whereas right now, this can come out. I don't understand. Oh, is it four? It's four. Got it. Um, let's go ahead and draw here before we do anything else. We'll pay our two. Um, yeah, that's pretty yuck, isn't it? We're going to play the campus. Tapped. And we're going to pitch and swamp. Okay. Next turn, we have Bill from Mystery. Mastery for the Karak, which would be nice. Um, because I can't take too many hits of that, and I don't want the opponent to get that much health built up. Um, pass turn. I think opponent's sitting on a lot of removal as well, because I've done absolutely nothing. Because they can cast Pest something, they just haven't. So they're holding something up here. And I don't know what it is. If they go to attack, I'm going to Baleful Mastery. Okay. Pass on the attack phase. Going to cast something on it? Please do. Please do. Nope. Okay. We'll just exile. Shouldn't be able to vitality that one, which was nice too. I think that's what they were planning on a little bit. Um, I really like to have two of those Belfo Masteries. It feels very strong. Gain four, learn. What are you learning, friend? environmental sciences, sure. I mean, there's no rush. They are not rushed at all. They're gaining all this life. I bet they wish they had a blood researcher. Yeah. I know I would. You gonna cast your pest now? There it is. Great. Um, hmm. I think we'll play our Karak. And we'll pass our turn here. We have eliminate up, so if we need to, we can kill something, but I'm not too concerned with it. I mean, opponent's at 29 life, which sucks, but I'm at 15. It's not the end of the world. I'm not so far gone. 
um, feel pretty good about it, especially if my car I can start hitting. Uh, that'll make some pretty good dents. Sure. Okay. I'm going to block. Is there that? Oh, there's the black sacrifice spell, and then there's there. Ah, okay. <clears throat> the black sacrifice spell, and there's the black uh, take two damage, I think. So both of those are things to be concerned with. But here, they went for the kill on my Karak, making theirs a 4 4. Great. Um, I eliminated their pest, so they're going to gain a life. I'm going to take one. That's not the end of the world. And then this will frustrate them considerably, gaining seven life, and now they have a seven turn clock. At a minimum. Screw it, sure. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. You're a 2 2. You'll be a 2 2. Uh, 3 something. Hmm. I think I have to wait. Okay. We're going to wait. I can Baleful Mastery their, their Scared Colony if I so need to. Okay. And we will exile it. Happy to take one here. Nice. And so... Here... We'll play this. We'll play out Pledge Mage. The opponent will have removal spells here. If they're dumb like I am, they'll kill the Spiteful Squad first. <clears throat> we should be able to stabilize here until the second Sun win. Pestilent Cauldron. Sure. It's the mill card, and you can uh, make yourself some pests. Mm -hmm. So here I can mage duel my pledge mage again, killing their pest and gaining four life. And then attack and gain four more life. I think eight life. It's just going to put the, be the nail in the coffin for him. Rise of Exodus. Um, not worth it here, of course. But here, I do think that it is. Do it like this, and then life link. So they'll gain a life. I'll gain four life. And yeah. And then I can put a 1-1 one -one counter on a target creature. Yeah, I suppose I'll put it on the Pledge Mage again, because 4 2 is better than a 3 1. However, if I put it on Spiteful Squad, it makes it really strong. Alrighty. This is a great game for me. Uh huh. Exiling four cards, drawing a card. I don't know what the opponent has in their hand. They've got a handful of cards and they're just not playing anything. Uh huh. Are they missing a, their second black source? Is that what's killing them? That could be. That would be unfortunate for the opponent.
we're in sequence, okay? One way counter on each land. Sure. Um, okay, well, here, I think I'm going to activate the ability. And get in for eight, gain five life. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to cast Instant Sorcery. I thought it was upon attack. Well, that makes sense. Bummer. Oh, well. Still get in for eight. Seemed fun to me. Their 2 2 is not too concerning. Having the Rise of Exodus. Exodus works really well, too. Just exile something. Opponent has three cards in yard. I have three cards in yard, so they can't draw any more cards currently. Manifestation Sage. Got a 4 4. Enters ETBs create a 0 0 with X counters on it where X is number of cards in your hand. That's not bad. That sounds really good, actually. Um, I still think I will exile the 4 4. Oh, nice. No, nope, I'll exile the 7 6. It seems okay. <clears throat> if you want, you're welcome to come on in, friend. Okay. I will exile you and Mortality Spear. Um, I'm going to give you flying. And then I don't want to search. This one is what I want. And then we'll go ahead and get in for five here. Great. Opponent's going to draw their card. It's fine. I thought about exiling one of my own just to keep them from drawing, but if they win because of that, that is a punt, but I didn't think it would be that significant. Yep, you got a 3 1. Sure. Got a land. They're getting in. Oh, opponent. That's just silly. Put them here. Alrighty. My next card is Approach. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. We will give it flying. Put the land at the bottom. We'll draw approach. Um, go ahead and attack in with my 5 3. Play a 3 3 trample lifelink. Say go. Next turn I win. Thunder's Order, sure. It's a good card. Gain two life, sure. You can't draw a card. Alright, you're gonna mill me. A little too late though. Swamp and Archway Commons. Good game. All right. Good game, Sigma.
All right. Well, uh, that was a really good showing for our first match of Abzan stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, update our our record here, and then we'll come back for match two. And we're back. Let's just hope my computer works a little bit better. We don't have um, that incredible lag that it was giving us. And let's jump right into match two here. Um, already it looks, it feels better. So hopefully it's fine. On Mac, we're relegated to having to use the, um, oh, the Epic Game Launcher, which is notorious for just being an all-consuming hog. Like my computer, it's a very nice computer and it just, it can't handle Epic Game Launcher, which I was reading a lot of people's reviews about their, their homemade computers that are fantastic and awesome and just will not work with Epic. So it's a little frustrating. Um, but Matt, Wizards has no intention of bringing Magic Arena to uh, a Mac client. So this is the best we have. We're going to keep this. Um, turn three, we actually end up having the colors we need. Um, it's a little bit slow, but I think it's okay. Because turn three, we can end up Tezzeret's Gambiting. Um, and I think that will... That should draw us into more lands. So that's what we're going to go for here. Um, if I do draw another land, there is potential that... I would get Spiteful Squad first and then Gambit because, I mean, they flow a little bit better that way, but we'll see what we end up drawing into. Opponent here is Shugazi. I like their avatar running the, uh... hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll wait. We're not in a rush. Uh, running the Ashiok. I think for me, Ashiok has always been the most intriguing Planeswalker. Um, just very enigmatic. The whole idea of being the Nightmare Walker, it's just, it's incredible. Um, all right. Let's go squad with Death Touch. If they kill it, so be it. Kind of sucks, but I think I'd rather squad die than dueling coach. Dueling coach gives me the opportunity to really build up over time. Um... Okay. What now, opponent? You got four mana. You got a two-two. What are you doing? Okay, Karak. Welcome, friend. Um, I imagine get in here. It's a free roll attack. I don't want to block with it. Going in. Them getting a life is frustrating. Um, but I think we still want to do this. Um, gets us up to a 3 3, which, you know, it's okay. It's not the best. Then Amplin seems really good. We'll attack in. They don't want to block. They'd like to keep their 3 3 alive. Um, they certainly don't want me to put the counters on the Anthem Answer. That will be devastating to them. Next turn, I think I play Karak. Because if I can get Karak and then Dueling Coach in that order, um, can end up putting the counter on the Karak and gain a little bit more life that way. And then also, if squad dies, end up putting the counters onto the Karak that way. Again, I kind of think uh, they attack in here. Okay. They want to keep their servant alive? Is that what they're going for? Oh, no, they're just going for mass life gain. Sure. Getting in for eight. That's a problem for me. Approach will be very helpful, but we might be a little too slow on it. I only have six mana here. Mm, it's painful. 
we're gonna play Karnak, we're not attacking. We're just gonna sit back and we're gonna wait. If they attack in, I probably block Karnak with squad. Mm-hmm. Everyone's playing black green. It is it is the combination that everyone loves to play. It's just super interesting to have a Golgari deck that cares about life gain and it is doing it in a sacrificial way, which is it is a very interesting, a fun new way that Wizards has envisioned Golgari working. Uh, I like it. Ooh, guiding voice, okay. So here I think hmm. What do I think? Let's go ahead and gain seven life. Go ahead and gain seven. Don't attack. Put them on a seven turn clock. Okay. They set their three, two. You're attacking in. When it dies, put its counters on target creature you control. So make it a 6-6. Six, six. And then I can pump it to a 7-7 seven, seven with Guiding Voice. Yeah. That's a smart opponent. I wouldn't have attacked with Karak either, I don't think. Um, hmm. But what do I do? I can block it and kill it. And then at least another 4-4 four, four lifelink trample. I have to stay alive for 7 turns if I'm going to win, so we're going for it. My guess is they... They let this happen and then they kill my Karak with a spell. That's what I anticipate anyway. Um, however, that's a very good draw. Um, we're going to play the Blood Researcher. Let's see what OP does here. We're going to keep Infused Vitality up because I do think it's worth having around. And then Karak dies here? Or are you going to let it hit? You're blocking. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Big play. Okay. I'll infuse with Vitality. Great. That was big plays. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put another 1-1 counter on our Karak, and we will learn ourselves a um, introduction to prophecy. Help us dig to our approach. Sure. Um, Let's go ahead and bash in for eight here. They don't block. Blood Researcher grows. Scry two and draw. Put them both to the bottom. Got a campus. We're gonna play the dueling coach. And we will put a one one counter on itself. Wonderful. We're going to play the campus. And let's see. We'll just attack with these two for now. Let's see if they block. 
we'll hold dueling coach back just because I can activate it here and it's good. It's fine. Um, it gives me a little bit more life. And I think the life game is pretty key right now. Symbology. It gets to learn. Uh oh, I hope it doesn't have a, an discard spell. Nope. An exile spell. Sure. Go ahead. Sure. Goodbye, Blood Researcher. But you still lose this turn. Good game. All right. Man, approach of the second sun. Um, who would have guessed? It's a really good card. Uh, so here, what would I do different? Opponent was playing black green as well. Um, you know, I, I really like our package. Um, I think just the removal that we have is doing really well. The proliferate plan, it's pretty weak. Um, it does work a little bit, but it's kind of just more value than like really blowing things up. Um, all right, Shugazi, game two. Let's see how we go, huh? Two lands. Ugh, okay. Draw another land, I can get the Gambit online. Um, that'll be worth it. Not my favorite, but Archway Commons is one of the colors I need, which is nice. Even if it's a terrible land. I really hate these lands that they come into play tap, they count as any land, but you have to tap a land to do it. It's just, it's a momentum play against you. Like, you're, you're basically tempoing yourself out of the game. But in some of these these bigger decks that you, you're you okay going long, you kind of want to go long, it's pretty necessary. Um, nothing else to do here. Don't need to hold up and eliminate quite yet. Ooh, we get both Karhawks in hand. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to Tezzer Gambit here. Take our two. Wonderful. Now we can do basically anything we want to do. If I get two car ops down and exhilarating uh, elocution, that could be all she wrote. Um, I mean, that's just, that's really huge. Opponent, what do you got? Symbology into Inkling Summoning. Sure. I do want the fourth land here. We're going to do the fourth land and Karak. Next turn, what I can do, if they get a 2-1 down, say, like this, and don't attack, um, I can attack in, eliminate, and then play Reckless Amplomancer as a follow-up. Hmm, okay. Put it on 3-2, sure. Uh, no, that's fine. I'll take the 3. Um, you know, I actually think Mage Dueling here could be really big. So if we eliminate... Uh, sure, let's eliminate you. Then Mage Duel, you, gives us four life, and then we'll attack in and gain another four life. Eight point swing is not a bad turn. Eight point life swing, take the point down for life and clear their board. Seems really good. <clears throat> it did take me a couple cards to do it though, so, you know, that is is what it is. What is the Hall of Oracles? The one we can on target creature activate only as a sorcery if you cast an instant sorcery this turn. Wow. Hall of Oracles is would be great in our deck. I would love that card. Opponent's kind of playing an Abzani build as well. I didn't see much in the terms of white. I saw the symbology last time, but that was 
That was it, I believe. Um, yep, you've got a Karak. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think I just want to play Karak. I don't think I want to slow roll that. Get it on the field, not attack. Next turn we'll elocute. Hopefully. Um, and that'll be pretty big. Of course, elocution works even better whenever you have more creatures on the battlefield, but that's okay. I think the wall encounters themselves will be pretty key. Um, and then dueling coach can come down and can put it on one of my Karoks and we can continue to pump up from there. What do you OP? I'll put 211 on target creature you control. Interesting, okay. Sure. Go ahead. Got it up to a 5-5, five, five, I see. I do not have a way currently dealing with that. Bummer. Yep. I mean, if the opponent swings in, it's a, it's a minus one. Oh, no. Um, so that gets, makes it a 5-5 five, five, and then a 6-7. Yep. Kill the opponent's massive Karak, and then bash him again. Sweet. Karak Wrangler. Uh oh. When you cast an she spell, put a 1 1 on target creature. That's fantastic. Um, so. I think what we do here is we go ahead and, and attack in with our 5-5. Five, five. Yep. Great. Get Dueling Coach online. And... Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Wrong order on that one. I wanted to get Amplomancer in first. Getting the counter on Amplomancer would really be key, because the more counters it gets, the easier it will be to double and really hurt the opponent. So that was a misplay. And what will you kill? Oh, you don't kill it. You just grow it. 2-2 two, two, gains reach. You put a 1-1 counter on it. Okay. But it'll be a 6-6 six, six next turn. Sure. Yeah, we'll attack him for six. Well, hit you for seven, gain seven life. I'm pretty content with this. We will decline here, but we will put a stop on our upkeep to scry. Points at four. What do we got? The servant? Mm -hmm. Opponent passes turn. We're going to scry here. Don't need to get useless cards. Like a forest. Done. Do our draw step. A plane. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, hmm. I don't need to attack. I'm winning the long game here. If they remove my 7-7, I might be in a little bit of trouble, though. 
because they're six six will kind of eat me apart. <clears throat> but I don't necessarily want to use my seven seven as a one for one. Oh. Yep. Should have held up the dueling coach. All right, I killed it off. It was a one for one anyway. It's okay. 54 to six, still doing fine. Oh, double, ouch. Well, dueling coach is currently doing nothing. So that is what it is. They attack in, of course I kill the Wrangler. The Wrangler needs to die. It will take over the game. <clears throat> um, I think we have to scry again because we, we really can't afford lands at this point. Yep. Go to our draw phase. Okay, main phase. Blood Researcher. It will prevent them from really attacking in because with it having menace, they're a little bit slower. Uh huh. Second symbology. Two mana, two one that learns. I mean, it's not, that's not terrible. It's a good rate, honestly. It's crazy they have two of these uncommons. Necrotic fumes, sure. I imagine you sacrifice Professor to kill a Flood Researcher here. Does Hall of Oracles tap for any color? It does, we have to filter it. Otherwise it taps for colorless. At least it taps for colorless. Go ahead, opponent. Uh-huh. Again, we're gonna put the stop here. Yep. I mean, they have to be careful still. They can't really effectively and easily attack in. What? Okay. That's an interest. Yeah, we're just gonna draw. Go to main phase. We're gonna attack. And we're gonna pump our Amphimancer. Oh man. Sorry, sorry opponent. That was that was a miss attack, I think. They said oops. Ouch, 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 ouch. Well, that puts us at two and two no here. Um on our game. Uh, super fun, really seeing some real power here in our Abyssin deck and looking forward to moving on here to our game three. I'm going to update our, our deck list and keep going. All right, let's jump back in. Oh man, I, I still feel like I had that game anyway, but it's really disappointing for the opponent that they really did have a few more turns there, very likely, and then they just, um... Yeah, they, they right click attacked all and that was that was a mistake. But anyway, moving into game three. I'm liking this deck quite a lot. I think our removal package makes it to where it's very consistent. Um, we've even had a couple of games there where our lands in hand were pretty weak, but being able to draw on that Tezzeret Scambit to really keep keep us moving is really key. Um, that's one thing our deck's missing is good card advantage. Just don't have it. But uh, been lucky so far. Hopefully that luck continues. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, Approach to Second Sun has been an all-star in this game. I also think, yeah, Baleful Mastery has been pretty key as well, just as far as removal spell goes. This is another hand that it's very much worth keeping. Um, we're gonna lead on campus, play commons, and then probably get our pledge mage down, turn three. Um, this looks 100% like a civil cool deck. 
uh, at the moment. Missing any of our green, green goodies, um, even black ones. These are this is a primarily white hand, I suppose. Um, a few more lands for approach would be perfect. Um, it's immediate; everyone can see it. It's signposted in the game. It's coming very shortly. There you go. Dueling coach isn't worth getting out too fast. But Masha, good luck, have fun. Shale, okay. I've played with shale. It um, it exists. You know, it's uh, it's not the best. We're gonna wait. I think on that. We'll get pledge down. I did think about getting go go blank right now, but opponents have so many cards in hand. I'd like for them to use up some of them. Eager first year. Okay, that's a fine card for sure. Yep. One one vigilance is certainly going to do work against our pledge mage here. It's a good counter. Um, wish we had. I guess what we'll environmental sciences here as well. We'll give it flying. And environmental sciences. And then we'll cast it and we'll give it lifelink. And we want a forest or a swamp. I guess forest at this point. Let's take forest. Put a forest down, bash in for four lifelink. All right. That feels good. Next turn, I am tempted just to click go blank, um, be able to give it flying again, get rid of shale. Um, reflective golem. Yep, here's that that lore hold deck that I said would be really good with it. Oh, continuing to pump up. I see. Okay. Um, yep. Go ahead. We will give ourselves life link. Oh no, I meant to get it flying. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Um, your first year gets 1-0 to end the turn. Yeah, if they want to block with their goal, that's good. Because otherwise it'll be really, really painful for me later. They're considering it. Yep, that means this is going to be a very painful turn for me. See what they've got. Infuriate. Yep, that was what I was concerned about. All right. Ouch. So that's adding six damage to the attack this turn. Wow, 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 wow. 15 points of damage here. Nice. That is what I was concerned about. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and attack in. Great. Opponent blocks. Hmm. So make your march and give him a 3 2. I'll resolve that. I'm gonna give him a 3 2 and kill my creature. Do I. I don't really want him to kill my creature. Um. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Unfortunately. Not gonna, not gonna work to give it life link or flying or anything. So it's a bummer. But exiles shell. They don't get a three two out of the deal. Still got six damage coming my way. Any pump spell here probably kills me. Okay. So seven. 
might have played a little bit too loose on this game. I also didn't, just didn't have the lands or the removal. Oh, two to the top. That's not good. Is it a pump spell? Sudden Breakthrough. Alright, good game. Yeah. Where's my good game? There we go. Alright. Um, that's okay. Opponent really doesn't have a good idea of what we're doing. It kind of feels like we're just doing a deck. They are pretty low and aggressive. Um, is there any removal that I pulled out that I should consider putting back in? Um, doesn't super look like it. Um, Karak, Tin the Pests. Um, Tangle Trap didn't really see anything of flying this, this round. Overarching, Overgrown Arch could be really good here. Mage Duel, but I need creatures to effectively Mage Duel. Um, hmm. Is it worth Mage Duel? Is it worth Overgrown Arch? What do I think? What do I think? Um, what do I pull out if I play it, put it in? Maybe Novice Dissector? Um, they don't have that much great. I mean, yeah, Tangle Trap does kill Shale. It also isn't that good. Um, hmm, let's just run it back, I think. Let's just run it back. Okay. All right, look, Masha, let's go for game two here. Um, again, these aggressive decks are really powerful, too. I had some pretty good results with them early on. Um, yeah, this is fine. Leave them swamp. Hopefully draw into a green source, because holding up infused with silver quill would be really good. Mm hmm Campus Guide, sure. That's fine. I'm not going to exile that one. Okay. And then we will pledge. Say so go. Opponent draws into their land. They play it. Get in for two no blocks. No follow-ups. That's bizarre. Yeah. I want to target my creature. They kill it. You know, lifelink. Put a 1-1 one, one on it. Learn. What will I learn? Maybe environmental sciences. We can we get a green source? Go ahead and bash in here. Game four. Let's play it here. It doesn't matter. Get our forest. Great. Final place land. Combat professor. 3 1 with vigilance. Sure. Hmm. Gonna give it flying. Land, land. Interesting. Okay. And... Yeah, I guess we'll we'll attack in. I do want it dead. Go ahead and get the lifelink out of it. 
killer creature, get the life link, get it back, tapped. Great. Opponent draws, place land, place dueling coach. Alright, Billful Mastery can kill that off pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Play our land. Um, we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And we're going to choose lifelink again. Okay. And then we're going to attack in for three. <laughs> this pledge match is doing work, I think. Opponent plays the War Singer, sure. It's in for three. Um, we're going to start with Gambit. We're going to pay for Axion. I believe we will get it flying here. I would love to kill the War Singer. Um, Submit zero. Play the land. Go ahead and get in for three. Play the squad. Opponent's going to be very disincentivized from attacking now. Because if they do, Pledge Mage is just going to get beefy. They will get a one mana thing back, which is fine. Okay, you're going to get a little bit more out of it, but that's still not the worst. So now I'm a 5-3. And you're going to get the 2-3 flyer. Sure. Um, we're going to go ahead and attack in here. Oh, uh, that's probably a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, well. Had I cast Approach first, I could have given it Lifelink. Um, that would have been really nice. Here, they, they do end up making it through, getting a 3-2 out of the deal. Which works out pretty well for them. But we're going to go ahead and get the 7-turn clock going. Um, hopefully end up drawing into another creature because the Spiteful Squad will be much more effective there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and scry because we can still get Spiteful Squad down even after scrying. No, we can't. Nope, we can't. So I think we have to wait. Okay. Come on, OP. But I'm trying to figure out if they can kill us in seven turns. It's actually less if I... Maybe it should. No. All right. Well, I drew anyway. Um, I do want Campus Guide. I will not. Shuffle, and then I will Spiteful Squad. What do you get? Casting some sorcery gets two toots on the turn. Okay, super prowess. Okay, wonderful. Um, plus one, plus two. Sure, we're going to have you target there. Great. And then we're going to attack in with our campus guide. Wonderful. Trade those off pretty happily. End our turn. End of opponent's turn. We will scry. Probably to the bottom, unless it's something actually helpful. 
opponent knows they have to attack in here. I'm not going to block. I'll take your three. But we will scry. What do we get? Guiding voice. Yeah, that seems good enough to keep. My turn, go to draw step. Go ahead and draw it, main face. Um, go ahead and give it another counter and I guess inkling summoning seems most appropriate. No attacks. Go ahead, opponent. Trade those. Well, I kind of wish I would have had the opportunity to make a decision there, but sure, you know. <laughs> All right, put a hold on the opponent's instep, pass, scry, bottom. Uh -huh. My turn. Wonderful. Um, great. Um, pass. Um, my turn and good game. Sweet. Uh, we're just going to run it back here. All right. Well, game two went a lot better for us. They just didn't have removal, basically. Um, they had allowed me to attack in, and I, I was able to kind of keep their board clear of problems and um, one with Approach. Um, approach Second Sun, again, such a powerful card. Everyone knows game's over in seven turns. Um, so, waiting on my opponent. They're going to go first with their sweet lore hold deck, and then, um, yep, <laughs> Pledge Mage again. Uh, Pledge Mage for the win, I think. Okay. Uh, Plan for the opponent. Pilgrim. Sure. They get a basic land, put it in the hand. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to play a Forest and Pledge Mage. Opponent plays planes, I'm sure. Yep. And dueling coach. Okay. I would like dueling coach to no longer exist. That's for certain. Um. Hmm. What do I do here? Start by emptying the opponent's hand. Give our guy flying. Okay, get rid of a couple lands. And then well, that's a guiding voice. We're going to give you life link. And then I want prophecy here or I wish I had some sort of removal. Huh. Well, let's just take environmental sciences, I suppose. It'll thin our deck a little bit, um, gain us a bit of life. We want more lands anyway as we move forward. Clever Luminancer. Get in for five here. 
Sure thing, OP. Infuriate. Ouch. Get in for eight. Okay. Well, I should be able to do some work with that. Um, it goes in hand, right? Okay, so I don't have capacity to do that. Hmm. Well, let's just go to attacks here. And then I suppose we will go ahead and exile dueling coach. Give our guy lifelink. Get some of that life back. I'll take care of their most problematic card. Uh-huh. You showed me with your zero one. I think that was a mistake, probably. Illustrious historian, sure. Um I would like to draw two cards and proliferate. We will be paying the Phyrexian cost. Um, give you lifelink. Great. And it seems totally fine. Play our land for the turn. Play environmental sciences, gain two more life. Give it flying. Um, let's take a swamp. Tuck in for five, gain five. Seems good. Dragon's Approach, you're dealing three damage to me. Just not a good card. I just don't see the benefit of that card. Okay. Play our land. I don't know. Play Exhilarating Elocution here. Give you lifelink. Um, good game, opponent. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Opponent was kind of tilted there, but it's unfortunate. Just had some good draws. They couldn't deal with the Pledge Mage at all. So, um, again, removal is pretty necessary to play. We had a great game three there. Um, currently 3-0. and oh. going to update the deck list, and then we'll come back for game four in a moment. All right, well, let's hop into game four, see if we can go with a flawless victory here. Um, I'm a bit surprised. You know, I think it's very clear the black green is a very strong color combination. Um, I think our Abzan deck is quite good. I also think that our deck is so good because of the removal we have. Um, you know, I I just don't think you can overstate that enough. This is a good hand. Turn three, go blank. Ooh. Um, Silver Quill seems maybe even better. Okay, Soul Type Poop. Soul Type Poop from Mr. Pew. Good luck. Opponent passes, holding up a counter spell, it looks like. Well, too bad for them. I don't have spells. All right. Field trip. Okay. Here, I do think I get Silver Quill online. If they remove it, that's okay. Not the end of the world. They're learning. What are they learning for? Introduction to Prophecy. All right. We'll Silver Quill here. Let them kind of get some of their cards out on the field. Would like to see some removal. We are removal light. And I feel like the opponent's got some counters in hand. Wither Bloom. Sure. That's not a counter spell. Um... Interesting. I don't really want to block. Yeah. 
Spiteful seems best here. I imagine they're going to kill Spiteful. If they attack in, I will block and put the counters on Silver Quill. I think that'll be most beneficial. Spectre, okay. Alright, they're all about gaining life here. I would most certainly like... Um, two mana counter. I kind of think the two mana counter has to be... <clears throat> it has to be for instance and sorceries. So I don't necessarily want to use Go Blink until I can actually get it off. Getting in with two, go for it, opponent. You gonna drain me? Nope. Zimone, very good card. I like Zimone quite a lot. I think it's super powerful. Um, let's see. It's forcing the discard. I'm gonna give Silver Quill flying. I'll attack with Spiteful and Silver Quill. What are you gonna pitch, opponent? Um, they get rid of their prophecy and cram session. Okay. Um, well, we will go ahead and bash in for five here. I think that is most worth it. Opponent doesn't know what to do here. Trying to figure it out. Maybe I should have done infuse or attack with novice as well, because I could infuse novice. Um Okay. You're gonna return it to my hand. And put two on counters on that one. Well, that's a little gross. Um, I suppose if I do this, target here. Um, I want to have full control here. I'm going to give you life link, and then. Oh, only a sorcery. No. Oh, that is a waste. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I didn't mean good game. I meant oops. Da, That sucks. Would have been a really good move. Well, I gained three life. Yep. No blocks. Gotta take the nine. Oof. Let's see if we can get any any content creator luck here. That's what I would like to have. I'll go ahead and use the squad again. Mm. Yuck. Yeah, because had I had I kept it, I could have used Infused Vitality on the Novice Dissector on their attack, killed off the 5-5, five five, which would have been pretty key. Yep. Getting in with four in the air. Oh, and three on the ground. Interesting. I think that's a mistake. Unless they have another bounce spell. Be 
because if I get instants and sorceries, I can start gaining five life each turn. That is not an instant or sorcery. Um, yep, we'll pass our turn here. I mean, considerable damage here, because they're going to drain me for two. Oh, interesting. Put a stop on opponents in step, see if I can scry into a spell, because that may be what this comes down to. Can't block your flyer. Um, we will go ahead and scry one. <clears throat> we will keep it on top. So this is a good indication. So we want to get rid of this. They'll probably activate it, which is fine. Um, oh, shoot. I'll give it flying. I don't know if it will actually matter, because I don't think I really want to attack. As it is, five mana, I've only got four on the battlefield. If I played my land for turn, I could play this forest, potentially keep up Reckless. There'd be four damage. Turn it into a one for one. Oh, great. Yeah, we're going to attack him for five then. Wish it would have been lifelink. Mortality spear. Sure. Somewhat assumed. And then I didn't sack it, which probably conf confuses them, but I can pump up the Amphimancer. Uh, just make it a one for one with a five five. Yep. Interesting. I don't know what card the opponent has, but we are going to go ahead and block into it. We'll block. Get a removal spell. Yep. And here's the spell, right? No, interesting. Okay, one for one. And they didn't even get in with the other two. I'm fine with that. Um, yep, Blood Researcher sounds good. And we'll pass our turn. Put a stop on the end step. I do not like Zimone. It will lose me the game quickly. You have instant speed removal? What do you got? Yep. It's gone. You eliminated. Then you're getting another land. If opponent just doesn't have any more removal and I keep drawing into spells, maybe they'll deck themselves. Um, they got 17 cards to do it though, so it's highly unlikely. Hmm. They won't attack me with Zimone. That feels pretty certain. Quandar's Apprentice. Yep, that isn't good. Is he gonna do five damage to me? Hmm. We're going to go ahead and camp this when we can. See what we can find. 
don't want that. Put a stop on our upkeep. Interesting. Okay. Let's try again. Resolve. Oof. Need a creature. Draw. Baleful Mastery. Um, pass turn. Okay, let's go. Pass turn. Sometimes it doesn't recognize that I'm telling it to pass. The opponent is considering what to do here. Of course, they're going to activate Zimone. There you go. If they attack with everything, I'm dead. But their history shows they don't want to attack with everything. So they... Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Good game, OP. Okay. It's game one. Definitely kind of killed myself there at the beginning. So that sucks. Game two against Soul Type Poo. I do want um, I do want removal. I, I've got removal. I don't think there's anything I would remove to put removal in. Could remove a guiding voice, I suppose, um, to get another mage duel. Um, Seems okay. We're going to pull one Guiding Voice and add our third Mage Duel. We're going big on it. Hopefully that'll help us keep our creatures on board and eliminate theirs quickly. On that one, it was it was just their Flyer. They got that 5-5 down early, and then they got that Flyer up. It was kind of a pain. Again, draw land, we're good. Don't draw land. And we're going to lose this one. Alright, lead on planes. Go ahead, opponent. Opponent leads on tap land. Um, we don't have a two drop, so we're going to play commons, tap our planes. Say go. Okay, nice. We're going to play our forest. We'll bring out our silver quill pledge mage. See what happens here. A blood researcher, sure. Um, going to do that and your sorcery speed, your proliferate. Let's go ahead and empty the opponent's hand a little bit. Give our guy a life link. Opponent decides to discard two lands. That's good news. I'll attack in for three. See if the opponent wants to make that trade. I doubt they do. All right. Opponent doesn't block. Opponent's turn. They draw. I imagine they have some way to gain life here, otherwise they probably wouldn't have played Blood Researcher and kept it. Here's a Swamp, Zomancy. Okay, that's not going to gain you life immediately. You're just going to get in for two. Um, we will get land down, and then I can't play two spells this turn anyway. We'll go ahead and get our uh, Menace Friend online. We will not attack. Next turn, I think we probably will um, try to Tesseract's Gambit, give our Silver Quill um, lifelink, and keep moving. Draw a land, I might rise to Extus. Um, it'd be nice if they had something in their graveyard to exile, but not the end of the world. I'm glad it says up to one from a graveyard, otherwise it would just turn off altogether.
opponents in attacks. Looks like they're regretting it, perhaps, considering what to do. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and block their 1-1. One, one. It'll pump their Blood Researcher, but I think that's not the worst. Oh, you're going to bounce my guy and kill my guy. Well, that's disappointing. Interesting. Um, well, I wish Gambit was three, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. We'll go ahead and get rid of the Researcher and get rid of Quandar's Command. Just go ahead and eat them both. And we've got a 4-3. I think maybe we want the Spirit Summoning. That way we can actually effectively block. Um, we get four sources of white and or black, so I could cast them both next turn. Spirit on the end, Silver Quill. Great. Let's go Spirit Summoning here. I can do this, and then... It makes it strong enough and tough enough that it won't die. Opponent has response. Oh boy. Yep. Well, Tuzzer's Gambit and Pain 2 is seeming more and more unlikely. If I draw a land, I don't think I can even cast. Um, Okay, that's game. Good game, OP. Bummer, 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 bummer. I finally had Mortality Spear. They had all the removal. I had basically none. Um, the removal that I had just didn't didn't work out for me. That's the problem with those fight spells, is that if, if you remove the creature, well, okay, you just two for one to me. Um, that's okay. Three and one here update our record and then we'll hop right back in to game five all right well um certainly not going to get our flawless victory here and um, we did get three wins which is really fantastic i'm hoping i'm hoping for that fourth win i think that would be really big um basically give us give us a free draft which would be really wonderful a draft a free sealed um, I am, again, loving the sealed format. I think I'm really going to like the draft format as well, but I want to get all the sealed in while I can. Um, again, you get you get so many more cards out of the deal when you do sealed. Um, you're guaranteed nine packs, whereas even if you went out with draft, you're getting eight packs. So um, it's good stuff. You're not going to even choose necessarily, so you're not you're not getting four rounds of the best cards. Um, but say levy, right? Well, how about how about y'all? What have been your your best decks? Um, love to read in the comments below how your sealed experience has been, and um, kind of just see a little bit more of. Uh, what what you're excited to, to draft on or even if you've been drafting what's been what's been particularly powerful that you surprised you um super super fun set weak and standard but honestly i think as far as a limited format goes the wizards nailed the mark on this one more than ever before we're going to play first here got three lands um yeah it seems like a fine hand Gonna lead on campus. Good luck, have fun, Barty Muse. 
So you'll camp it's get Amplomancer down on turn two. Right on time, our seven mana approach the second sun. Okay. Nice. I have Eliminate on hand. Go ahead and get in for two. We'll go ahead and take a couple of cards from the opponent. Presumably lands with so many cards in hand, but we'll see what they throw. Yep, two mountains. All right. Opponent plays Mountain, Tome Shredder. Very good card. Gonna get in for two. That's the only thing you can do, opponent. Interesting. Well, I suppose I will go ahead and eat your Tone Shredder. And then get in for three. <clears throat> really, really wish I had a land there. Oof. And they have Hollow Oracles. Man, I would love that card in our deck. I think I mentioned that before. What do you got, OP? Letter of Acceptance. Interesting. You're playing a little slow, huh? Got two mana up. Very happy to draw. This says there's Gambit here. Lash in for two. Great. And we will go ahead and pay our Phyrexian life. Having our best Phyrexian life. Get a counter spell in there and play Jeskai. Thrill of possibility. Okay. Pitch land drew two cards. I draw two cards. Um, we will go with a planes and pass our turn. Opponent's at five mana. I'm at four. Um, I've got a drew into a couple of mana here. Okay. We will. Three or less, you're five. So I can do that. I think I do. I think I, I pay the cheaper cost. I give them a card. I give them a card instead of uh, letting them copy. Auto pay. It's just too difficult to play around. I don't don't like it, don't want it. Get rid of it. Stonebound Mentor, three, three for three. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, scry one. Sure thing. Um, we will eliminate that Mentor. Beaming defense? Interesting. I can't do anything about that. Um, but I can play Dissector. It's a good follow-up. No bothering me. What do you got, opponent? Guiding voice, you're giving yourself a counter. Learning. What are you learning? Introduction to prophecy? Oh, elemental summoning, sure. Okay, Silver Quill. Um, not the card I wanted, but it's the card I have. Um, We are going to go ahead and bash in here. Get rid of what the opponent's got. Okay. Pretty happy for this. Yes, opponent.
They got something, right? Or they just wanted to sacrifice it. Revitalize gain through life. Sure. All right. Kill yours, bring mine back. Play mage. And say go. If I draw a land, I can put the put a clock on them. I mean, I have a clock, but a better clock. Uh-huh. And Elmel Summoning? Is that what I'm looking at? Yep. Great. Perfect. We will choose flying. And we will attack you for three in the air. All right, seven turns. I got you on a presumably three turn clock. <clears throat> the reason I didn't attack with all there is it didn't actually increase my clock at all. Um, so I might as well hold back my 3 3 and 2 2. Um, I can potentially block the 4 4 with it if I feel necessary, but at this point I'm not really. Alright, that's the 4 2 flyer. You're getting something back. Any instant sorcery? You get in the 4 4? Oh no, the 1 1. Okay. What are you going to put it on? Sure. Nope. Maybe? Okay, yes. Put it on the elemental. And then you learned another elemental something in. No blocks here. Because I think I'm in better shape. Not. Um, yep. I'm going to put you here. Turn you into lifelink. We will learn ourselves um, I think the two on flyer. Flying's harder to deal with anyway. And we will go attacking. I think we might win here. If you don't block the Amplomancer, you lose. Okay. Still gonna activate it. Great. And we'll end our turn here. All right. What do you have, opponent? Mm-hmm. Gotta land. We got three in the air next turn. Drawing a card and looking for answers. They need a way to kill my flyer and have another creature on the battlefield. What do they have? Nothing, huh? Oh. Well. Um. Go ahead and take that away. See what the opponent has here. Okay. I'll get an elemental summoning. I don't want to give them any additional information. All right, new game. I could have just attacked there, but I, I didn't want to be running into something. At five mana up, they had cards in hand. Um, just didn't want to regret that. Um, but yeah, I think let's run it back. I think we're our deck looks good. That that ran the way we expected it to. There we go. The game was not recognizing that I was clicking done. Bar Muse.
Ooh. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to think about what the most impactful card is in my deck. The Pledge Mage has done a lot of work for a card that I kind of dismissed early on. It's done a lot of work. Followed by, or not even followed by, but alongside Baleful Mastery, which is incredible. Alongside Approach to Second Son, there's one in multiple games. Um, just really potent cards, as well as the, uh, the Amplomancer. Like, I, I, did I accidentally build a really good deck? Um, all these cards have such pretty, such great utility. They're really powerful. Um, we really ended up with a lucky, lucky opening there, uh, for our pool. All right, OP, Bartimeus, what do you get for us? We've got two lands. Certainly need a third for that Tether's Gambit. Um, we'll keep. I at least have the Elfal Mastery up as a, a bad removal cell. Um, great. So I haven't drawn anything yet. Revitalize. Okay, opponent's playing bad cards. Good. I mean, Revitalize is fine. It's not a card you really are ever happy about running. It just happens to exist sometimes. We're going to pass, and we're probably going to throw away one of these Mage Jewels. Um, it feels bad, but I can't give up a creature. I can't give up my card draw spell. Infuse Vitality is too powerful. Um, interesting. Well, I'll let them draw a card, but I don't want them to to find the best card in their sideboard. Gross. Come on, lands. Where are you? Opponent's in trouble too, but they're not in any rush. Campus guide. Yes, we're going to take a land. <clears throat> going for white mana this time. Yep. Unfortunately, it's next turn that I get it, so it's a bit awkward still. But at least I have a creature on board. Creature on board, I'll have a couple more cards next turn, hopefully some of them being lands. It's a little awkward, though. Actually, I don't want to cast Gambit quite yet. Um... I can infuse with Vitality Campus Guide. It's not a great play, but it is a play. I can also Guiding Voice plus Mage Duel. Um, that sounds okay, because I can go and get the Environmental Sciences. Oh, well, that's rude. Um, yeah. Go ahead and cast it. It's pretty gross, but I do want it. Um, I think black is what we're going to look for here. Four mana next turn. Um, I think we go with the Karak. Uh, yeah. We'll attack him for two. I'm sure if they want to kill something, it's going to be the Karak. Karak. Yep. Come on, opponent. Kill it, please. Great. We've done some damage. They're still over their initial life total. Alrighty. Next turn, however, we can Tesseret's Gambit and then Mage Jewel. That sounds pretty, pretty great. Um, excuse me? Other tapped creatures you control get plus one plus oh. Other untapped get plus zero plus one. 
Whenever you attack, untap each creature you control, then tap any number of creatures you control. Wow, that is... That is a confusing bit of ridiculousness. Okay. Wonderful. We are going to, for white, black, black, cast Tezzeret's Gambit. We'll pay two life, draw two cards. All right, we will play a land. We will Mage Duel, your mentor. Hopefully gain four life. Bummer. Ugh, it's gross. No attacks. Opponent's got the cards. I don't like it. Let's see what the opponent does here. Uh-huh. Augusta, Dean of Order. Plarg, Dean of Chaos. Okay. And they're attacking in, I think. Mm hmm. Okay. Opponent did not attack in. Well, we're going to take advantage of this. Um, I'm going to get Spiteful Squat down. We're not going to attack. Sure. What I'm looking for, if I get any piece of removal, of course, that's going to aid me considerably. But the Spiteful Squat down, it allows me to get in some extra damage. I can put Blood Researcher down next turn. If they choose to kill either of my creatures, regardless, I'm going to be growing my Blood Researcher, which will hurt them. Um... 2-3 first strike, it gets plus 1 plus 0 on the turn, okay? Well, yeah, that's bad. Not a huge fan of that. Um, play you. Um, we'll pass. Dissector out allows me to, to pump my creatures, which is really beneficial. I really need some, some removal spells. Um, they blocked my blade mage duel pretty solidly. Ugh, I really don't like that. Alright, so you're going to have two damage for sure. Mm hmm. Going to pump it to three? Yes, you are. Um. I don't know what you may have. But I hope this works. I wish this were not sorcery speed. Alright, you're going to kill it. Kill them both. I will put them on my Karak. And then... Regular damage, I kill it. Wonderful. Um, yeah. 
Yep. And yep. No attacks. We'll continue to hold. <clears throat> Come on, removal spells. I've got two things I need to get rid of. That Wandering Archaic and the Stonebound Mentor. Cards I have are pretty good, though. Coming in with a 4-5. You untapped it. You did tap it. Okay. Um... Yes. So, okay, no blocks. I'm happy taking the five here, because when I retaliate, I'll gain all that life back. I don't know. That felt loose to me. Um, opponent's looking for something to use their spells on. And the opponent is finding Pledge Mage? I keep mousing over it. Mm-hmm. Alright, three damage on Pledge Mage. You get to learn. Probably gonna find Introduction of Prophecy, something that's going to let you scry and draw. That would be my guess. Opponents definitely control this game. I, my board looks better, but they're definitely in control of this game. They're getting more removal spells, their lands are better, they're holding you back, they've got a 4-4 in hand for this turn, right? Yep. So it's about to come down. But they held off. Interesting. Okay. I'll bite. Let's attack for five. Expel. Well, it's out of your hand now. That's fine. We'll end our turn here. I know what you have in hand. Um, what are you going to do now, opponent? Nothing. Uh huh. Interesting. I think we're going to pay the full cost because we're not doing anything else with our mana and we're going to get rid of this archaic oh no don't have okay I was worried they had the hexproof spell that would suck Alrighty. Yes, thank you. Um, now then, I mean, they've got a 4 4 coming down. I think I have to not block again. Spiteful Squad should be really good, though. Um, it should hold them back some. Okay. I mean, I could sack it now to give three one one counters to Blood Researcher. I just don't think that's worth it at the moment. Hold back. I have this Karak in hand. Opponent is down to 17 cards in library. Pillar Drop Warden, 1-6, pay to sack it. Return instant sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. 
Okay. Yeah, you got some decent ones in there. You can't do it right now. It doesn't have haste. Not attacking. Okay. Okay. Get my 3-3 three, three down, pass turn. From a graveyard? From your graveyard. Oof. And they have their tap land, they're able to filter through a little bit better. Put it on bottom. It's too bad, I would like the opponent to have a few dead draws. But here they're going to get rid of the giant. Yep. Getting back. They get to scry. They get the four damage spell that can't be prevented. Does it target the croc? That'd be my guess. Why is this at sorcery speed? Oh, that's miserable. Pitch a land, draw two. I can't really take any more damage, so no matter what the opponent does here, I pretty much have to block. Heated Debate is an instant speed spell. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. You're going to get your pick of things to kill. I'm going to block here. I'll block here, here, and here. Make your choice of what to kill the opponent. <clears throat> They're thinking about it. They're going to use the heated debate, that's guaranteed. Just don't know what they're wanting to use it on. All right, they're going to kill Karak and the squad. Are they going to save their guy? Or are they going to kill a blood researcher in response? This blood researcher is about to grow by three. That'll be a five-five, and the heated debate won't matter. But they'll probably kill it in response. Would be my guess. Ugh. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I can't not put it here, so. Go ahead, opponent, kill it off. Yep. I'm left with a 3 3. Opponent's left with a 1 3. Go ahead and grow the uh, dissector. Bash in for four. In turn, I feel better with the opponent's board being a little bit more empty. Yep, scrying on upkeep, putting it. I like the scry animation. It looks nice. Opponent. I'm trying to decide if it's good enough. It's not a land. You don't want it. You definitely want lands. Put it on top. Alright, hopefully it's a land. Wouldn't mind my approach here. Instead, I get a land. Um, well, I'll go ahead and activate my novice dissector and attack for five. 
Okay. Uh, I'll keep that in hand. I have eight lands in the battlefield. I don't necessarily need any more. My most expensive spell is seven. And I'm only drawing one at a time. All right, defend the campus. Great. My guy is gone. Putting a one-one counter on your dean. Getting in for two. Come on, OP. Thanks. Draw. Oh, come on, opponent. There we go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pass turn. Can't do anything without a 1-1 one -one on it. Probably should have put the 1-1 one -one on the dueling coach. Uh, maximize my threats, made it to where their Augusta didn't want to block either of them. And that might have been a mistake. Because then, even if they just killed one, I still had another one available that could have done something. But here, you can't even block their Augusta, really. Ugh. Now they're going to get Vigilance and such. I need my removal. Got to take the three again. Gonna take the three. Oh wait. If I do that. Ooh, yeah, we're just gonna take it. Okay. Come on, something clutch. Oh. You kill the one I can't really deal with. Ugh, okay. I could block that one. I can't do anything about the 2 4 in the air. Pass turn. Um, before she gets to attacks, or Bartimaeus gets to attacks, I need to kill Augusta. Um, I would not mind drawing Approach to the Second Sun. Because it would give me at least one more draw spell, draw stink draw um, and allow me to maybe get a little bit deeper in my library. Draw step. That's the word. I said draw spell, but draw step. Ugh. It's late in the day for me. Hard to think right. Okay. All right, opponent, you draw your card. Moving on. You're at the beginning of combat. Please put on Augusta. Ugh, bummer. Well, I am going to kill Augusta before you can get the added damage. Can't suck your combat professor and then negate. Well, there we go. Good game, Barty Muse. All right. <clears throat> One and one here. They do have a negate in their deck. It's pretty minimal, but they do have it. Um, and I was kind of hosed there without any good removal. Hmm. You know, I think, again, I think I want the Mage Duel over one of the Guiding Voices. And we'll run it like that. Um, sorry. <clears throat> I had to close an app. All right, we're playing first. Hopefully that benefits us. Four lands. Don't have it played until turn four. It's a keeper. Um, lead on planes, followed by archway commons. Um, yep. Um, <clears throat> we will follow that up. Sure, Blood Researcher. It's a very sexy card. And 
Infuse of Vitality works with that because it will pump it a little bit. Um, yeah, it's worth it to them to go ahead and kill it, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't think I want Spite Wolf Squad down quite yet. I think I would rather Gambit next turn since opponent hasn't done anything yet. Go ahead and Gambit, get a little bit deeper in our deck. Sure. We'll Gambit, we'll actually pay the blue. Um, look at us, not having to hurt ourselves to do it. Next turn, we'll go Campus into Karak. Um, you've got one in, yep, coming in for two. Yep, okay. And we'll Karak. And that seems good. And then opponent, they have a fifth land. They do, they got the fifth land. Are they gonna give me a four four? Interesting, nope, they're just gonna go ahead and grow the Tome Shredder here to three three. Um, learn, get another 4-4 four, four in hand, basically. Um, come on in, OP. Stonebound Mentor will be the follow-up to that, sure. And we'll put a counter on it. Okay. Well, opponent is going big. Bigger than we are. They're considering attacking. I'm considering it too. Okay, great. Um, hmm. Uh, what do I do here? Can I keep up a black and green? I can. All right. We will spiteful squad holding up infused the vitality. Um, which should be pretty darn good. And opponent is going to tap their tone. Yeah, great. It's fine. I mean, they're going to get in for some level of damage here. I'll gain two life back, but. We'll see how it goes. Mountain for the opponent. They're gonna go ahead and attack him first, see what I do. I think I kill the Tome Shredder. Um, well, I'm gonna kill that for sure. I, I have no intention of not. Make the block. Opponent, you have anything for it? Okay. Go ahead and give it Death Touch again, gain two life, but get it back so that I can get two more counters on the Karak. There's a removal spell. Oh, negate. Okay. I mean, it still turns into a 5 5, which isn't the worst. All right. Mentor's down. I put it on the Karak and make it a 5 5. <clears throat> I will be rising against Tome Shredder here. Wonderful. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana. We're gonna go ahead and rise here. Target you and get rid of your damage spell. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's bad news for me. Well, we want prophecy then. We want to dig deeper. We've got to find an answer to it. Oh boy, no attacks. Yep, opponent's gonna go ahead and exile a spell. 
How many more spells do they have in the yard? One. Oh boy. You have another removal spell for it. Next turn, I can Spiteful Squad and Introduction of Prophecy, which seems beneficial um, because Spiteful Squad can kill Tome Shredder and, as well as pump up our Karak, which is ideal. Punish and figure out what they want to do here. It doesn't make sense to me to not attack and get down a 4-4, four, four, but they are playing a bit of a confusing deck. Very, very spell heavy, very interactive, waiting for me to do things, which he's forcing me in positions that I have to do so. So that's not fun. All right. Well, seven mana. Get down a 4-4, four, four, keep up two mana. You're going to pump it to a 5-5, five, five, I bet. Yep. Because you don't want me attacking. Let's go here first. Scry two and then draw. It's not the one I want, but I'm not. I'm not terribly upset about it. Um, we'll put down our two two, and we will not attack. So now opponent wants a removal spell for uh, spiteful squad, so they can attack in. But as soon as they do, my Karak is a seven seven. Plarg. All right, so you can discard and draw. Pay five, reveal from the top of your library to the non-legendary non-land with three or less. Ugh. Uh, cast a card without paying his main cost. Okay, so you you get to you get some good stuff out of it. Removal would be very nice. Opponents out of cards. Plarg gives them a way to get rid of dead draws. Um, I, on the other hand. Am drawing dead draws, so that is what it is, I suppose. I'm going to put a stop on our upkeep so that we can start filtering through our deck a little bit better. Yep. Continue growing your tone shredder, and Plarg is going to. Gonna rummage? Or are you gonna just go up top of your deck? Top of your deck's not bad. Top of your deck. You're gonna find King's Bait, Letter of Acceptance. Woo! Deal. I want Plug dead though. It gives him the capacity to rummage and get off the top of his deck. Can't deal it. Cannot deal with it. It's funny that that's the card I'm most worried about over the 7 7 that keeps growing. Mm-hmm. Bashing up a couple of five fives. I'm gonna block one. Yeah. I'll block one. Take five. I'm going to put um two more on this moldering crop. We are going to scry. Resolve and planes. Bottom. Done. Draw. Guiding voice. Okay. Um. Hmm. Your sorcery speed makes you a little stinky. Go to our main phase. I'm going to go ahead and do this here. I'm going to give the Pledge Mage flying, I think. Um, then we are going to, I guess, Inkling Summoning? Yeah, Inkling Summoning seems good. Because I'll cast it now and then give it lifelink. Um, 
have a 2-1 that I can just throw away, which is beneficial. It can also attack in for 2 on most turns. How many do we have left? Two more spells. Okay, we're gonna put a stop on our upkeep again. All right, they went ahead and tapped, getting theirs up to an eight-eight. Attack, gain my ten, gain my three life. Past turn. You know, if they attack with it, I'm going to double block it with Karox. Um, it doesn't make any sense not to, so. I mean, I would even triple block, just throw everything in front of it, see what I can, see what I can kill. Um, it might be a waste of an inkling, but right now the Tome Shredder is the thing that will eat me alive. He can attack him with a 5-5, five five, because I will eat it. Opponent is looking through their graveyard at what they have, trying to decide. We have parity. We're both 21 cards left in deck. Which is surprising. I thought that they would be ahead, but um, I suppose we... Did we draw? Did we use Tezzeret already? Yes, we did. We've used Tezzeret's Archive. Uh, Gambit. Uh, what's the name of the card? Gambit, yeah. Tezzeret's Gambit. Uh, Fortune. Okay. So you're getting Negate back. Okay, so you're going to turn off something for me. But creatures you can't touch. You've also got a 4-2 flyer. 4-2 flyer is bad for me. Um, let's scry. Resolve. Hmm. Yep. Draw it. And pass turn. All right, you've got one more, right? Nope, you don't. You're fresh out of taps for your Tome Shredder. Stopping our upkeep again. The approach is worth having, but I want something else that will call out the negate again, because approach can be the game. I'm not just going to run it into a counter spell. Sure. Whirlwind Denial. Perfect. They just shuffle back in. Bottom. Bummer. So he does have another counter spell. And the bottom 17 cards of his library. And the bottom three cards of his library. Um when I was thinking about attacking in here. They don't know what to do. Let's get in with this eight. Um, what trick do you have? What trick do you have? I feel interested in this because I, I can tell he has something, but what do I... Block. Definitely want the flyer to keep off their four. Four Tempest Flyer. Okay. One for one. And I gain eight life. Okay. Thanks, opponent. I'm I'm not upset about that. Deal. Um, yep. 
we will continue to scry because we need to find something to do. Forest is not something to do. Let's go to draw. Eliminate main phase. Um, pass turn. Eliminate can kill, can kill Plarg. So, hmm. Okay, opponent didn't do anything there. All right, well, good game opponent, I guess. What a bizarre ending. I think we were starting to come a hold of it, but, um, you know, cool. Well, there we go. Uh, four and one with our Abzan counters second sun deck. Um, overall, really fun. Really enjoyed the interactions that we had. Um, again, key cards for us here. Approach was a number of games. Um, the card off, surprisingly good. Four mana through three trample lifelink. Very, surpri very surprising. Blood Researcher didn't do much in our deck, but we knew that it wouldn't. Pledge Mage was surprisingly effective. It was very good. Um, very, very good. I got blown out a few times with Infuse of Vitality, so I didn't like that. So it's it's not as good to go. Same with Mage Duel. Um, Baleful Masteries were very powerful. Tezzer's Gambit, I cast it almost every game, I think. It was, it was really a key card. Um, I don't know what I feel about this card. It kind of kind of felt like a win more, but it was fine. Um, Spiteful Squad is really solid with other creatures, especially Karok. Um, they work really well together. So overall, really enjoyed the deck. I hope you did enjoy this gameplay video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and come back for more. Right now we're looking at trying to release uh, three videos a week. So hopefully we can keep up that pace. Anyway, we'll see you on the next limited run.